Chuck gave me a call and asked me if I could help him fine-tune a Spartan radio that he's been working on. And this is the chassis, and this is the wiring diagram for this radio. He had already tuned the IFs to peak performance, but I still, you know, double-checked. And back to the wiring diagram here. This particular IF can is this one physically on the chassis, and this other IF can, of course, is this one. And he had them both tuned to their optimum performance. Here's the front of the chassis, and now we can see the work that uh, Chuck did on this radio, which is pretty extensive. If you look in the upper left, he found this switch from another radio and determined that it would work as a band switch. What had happened was the original band switch had failed and somebody had wired it solid to the AM band. Well, Chuck wanted to get both bands working again and he found this switch, labeled every part, and was able to determine that electrically it would work. Plus, if you notice the shaft, that has been extended because the uh, switch electrically was good, but the shaft was too short. So he extended the shaft to fit the cabinet. To peak the performance of this radio even further, the antenna circuit needs to be tuned. But you'll notice that on the variable capacitor here, there's no trimmer capacitors. So I took a look at the wiring diagram. And if you look to the left, you'll see the antenna. And the first capacitor that we decided to tune for the AM band was C5. And that is right here, physically, in the radio. And here's Chuck tuning uh, C5 for the best performance on the AM band. Uh, but that is pretty much it. I don't want to do it. Chug, polish, chug, polish, chug, polish. Drink that bill. <laughs> As you heard, the performance on the AM band increased. And this capacitor, C6, is for the shortwave band. And, of course, we did the same thing for it. Now, I did miss one while I was over there, and that is C4. So I called Chuck back and said, well, put the radio back on broadcast band and to 620 and see if C4 is peaked. If it's not, it will increase. And of course, if, if it's already peaked, it won't make any difference. Here are the notes that Chuck made in getting this radio back into working order, original working order, including even making a drawing to get the circuit correct. Chuck did a great job on this radio, and uh, he worked, uh, as you can tell, several hours restoring this radio. Thanks for watching.